而应该采用。Traveling in northwestern China, collecting folk music. Wang Lobin is the pioneer musician who put Western ethnic folk songs on the map of China's indigenous music. A place far away in Qinghai. Majila in Yili. Leave your veil in Kuchu. Alamuhan in Turpan. Now, Travelog salutes this adventurous musician. We follow his footsteps, bring you the true color of this amazing part of China. Travel with Travelog. Continuing our musical travel arc guided by the legendary musician Wang Luobing, but my section gonna take a higher key swing. I'm at the highest altitude in northern Xinjiang Kazakh region. Wang Luobing used to claim a silk road not only opened by the caravan, also accompanied by the folk music all along the way. So accompany my journey and raise your volume. Among these mountains and meadows that gave birth to Xinjiang folk music. Wang Luobing wandered for decades and found his own far-flung home, where the living and loving inspired music that tells it just like it is. Kazakh music seems to have found inspiration from their living on horseback lifestyle. Cheerful tones and bouncy clock-like beat of Maila, a typical Kazakh folk song, became Mr. Wang's favorite, and he made the girl Maila a household name in entire China. The idea of heating on a road, jeering towards no man's land, has to be most modern spiritual nomad's wildest dream. There's no better place to do that in China other than Xinjiang, Yili to be exact. Asia, mountain, grassland, ever-shifting sceneries and occasional accidental encounters leaves little risk for road hypnosis. I don't stop for every street vendor, but look at that boy. I can imagine he actually found them by himself. You won't find them anywhere lower than 3,000 altitude. Fresh, picked, snow lotus. It's the first time for me to see it this close. 20块, 20块, okay. Partially because snow lotus is so rarely seen, it enjoys a kind of magical flower status. Especially in Tibetan herb medicine, it's believed having magical power in curing diseases like rheumatism and diabetes. In my determination to follow Mr. Wang's footstep and make the trip both scenic and musical, to feast on both eyes and ears, I map out my thousand miles road trip in Yili only according to one musical compass, Manila. Music, Kazakh people also worship poem. They call poem to be king of language. In a place like this, it's not difficult to write either, right? Xinjiang is associated with Silk Road and Camel Caravan so often that most of us pictured Xinjiang as a place of vast desert and Gobi, dotted with some oases occasionally. 
striving around the Yili region, north in Xinjiang were totally ratified that misconception. Vast natural pasture here provides enough forage for livestock, and lush forest offers endless quarry for experienced hunters, and a new experience for a not so experienced one. Older than 80 years old should understand no prints on white horses will ever show up. But today, at least, I have my Kazakh brother in a white jeep. Send me out of here. Here we go. Another adventure. <laughs> and try to drive here. I thought it's easier. No, no, no. So, if you try to drive in a grassland, really, really have to be take caution. Okay, uh, since my driver went somewhere else to seek rescue, and I don't have time to wait. Sorry, that's all his problem. I'm not gonna find my own rescue. I do you See? A young prince. Finally, a young prince with a white horse. So, here we go. You really hovered by the mountainside. This here is a Kazakh people's summer house. They move down and up the mountains and meadows according to the season in chasing after the warmth and forage. So when you're looking for a camping spot to pitch your tent, the sensible choice is pull off your car at a place like this. Kazakh hospitality lies in the blood. Once you step into Kazakh yurt, even uninvited, you are treated with warmth and courtesy as a respectful VIP. <laughs> uh, because I'm a guest from afar, so I get special treatment. Look at this cup. They have one, and I have two cups mm -hmm. in one. There's a hole inside. Oh. Mm, it's first time to try this. I don't think I can really finish them all. Mm. Mm. It's chilly and it's sour, but one pinch of sugar wouldn't hurt. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'll you. Uh, girls got married, they can wear luxurious jewelry like this, you know. Before that, my good moment hasn't arrived yet, so I better just give it back to her. Manais is a local diary drink, slightly formulated, but tastes innocently alcohol-free. So if you're among those self-acclaimed hopeless in singing and dancing, drink a few bottles of this will help you catch up with the spirit of the locals. Nomadic living means a constant change of locations in chase of warmth. Even in summer, it's cool and even chilly here at night. Kazakh handcraft tends to serve the practical and aesthetic purposes at the same time. This is Let's 
In a place like this, don't you want to just be a bird with a pair of wings just to fly anywhere you want? And castle people, they find their own wings. That's beautiful horses. 女孩子还可以穿着裙子就可以骑马呀。There's a horse race starts in a minute. I'd better just get out of my way. are known as hot-blooded, straightforward people. Even between boys and girls, there's no subtle flirtation. It's more like, if you like me, go and get me. The game is called girl chasing, but boys are actually the ones who chase after, and yes, even whip. But they usually take the physical pain blissfully, because the furiously she whips, the more she whips in you. that's almost hypnotizing. Take a deep inhale to wake up. That's real luxury to begin a day. The whole arm of lavender flowers, they probably can only produce a few drops in sense oil. In China, this is the only place have the perfect condition for lavender to flourish. And even in Asia, there are only two other places One's a Sapporo in Japan, the other place is in Taiwan. And on the Mulhan in Turpin. Now, Travelog salutes this adventurous musician. We follow his boots down, bring you the true color of this amazing part of China. Travel with Travel Art. Like the importance of four-wheeler in a city, life without a horse is inconceivable in Kazakh's life. And the life on horse apparently starts early on.
such a fine, handsome boy, huh? People call them a heavenly horse over here because, partially because they are from the heavenly mountain, uh, also partially because they're just so good looking, heavenly like. Um, they're actually kind of a crossbred between Mongolian and uh, Russian stocks. So they're famous for their great endurance and perfectly proportioned body. to his salad plate mixed culture of ethnic groups. Besides Weigu, there are other 46 ethnic groups living in the rich land of Xinjiang and Mongolians among the largest ethnic groups in Bortala region. As early as 13th century, Mongolian script was created on the basis of a script of Hui Hui or ancient Weigu, and Lamaism revived. This monastery is the biggest Lama monasteries in the region. But to my surprise, it looked almost deserted. The glory of this temple may fade through the years, but it does still leave a sense of weight of history. It's especially moving to see such a grand temple standing in the middle of a grassland of our Alta for the Mongolian people living here. They were carved as a monument and placed in front of outstanding ancient Turks' tomb. There were many more of them before 13th century, before Islam came to Botala region. Since then, this stone man was seen as a symbol of heathenism. Most of them were destroyed. sees it lost in traffic problem. But here in Pakwa City, this time, I need even a special map. I think our driver got lost here too. The ancient city planner of Pakwa City is said to be a well-versed Taoist monk, Chu Chu Ji, from mainland China, traveling in Xinjiang 700 years ago. He brought Taoism here and even planned out the entire city according to Pakwa principles. The city probably has a better feng shui as urban planner indicated, but I don't think he considered the orientation part that much. It looks like a maze. Yeah. 
In Taoistly, this city is building an auspicious spot that brings peace and balance to every citizen. Hopefully, even everyone who passes by. The too many roads lead to the center of Fakwa City. How could I ever guess? My limited knowledge of Yi Jing could help me find a way in the city. Seeing a place like this feels a little bit like home. It's located in Batola region, Mongolian Autonomous Prefecture. The high altitude of more than 2,000 meters makes it the highest mountain lake in entire Xinjiang. The high altitude also gives the air here a crisp, clean bite. The water crystal Asia sparkles. Scenery of Sali Moon, the road journey back towards the city of Yining felt slightly more boring than bucolic. Lush hills, picturesque villages, and empty roads leave place for the unpaved and narrow country roads, busy with motorcycle traffic. But if you have learned to think positively by now, you'll find at least one positive thing is easier and safer to hitchhike in this period of the road. And stop over whenever you want. Hiking not only provides free lifts, also give you useful information. And I just run out my bottle of spring water, and the guy told me I can pick up anything I want here. So if you are thirsty and run off even money, you can always survive in Ely. Most trips end with deficit spending in my experience. My surviving manual is usually to follow a Chinese doctrine. Think of your parents when you are in need, and when traveling, housing and friends in deep. After the week-long road trip in Ely, back to a city itself made me feel like home. Staying at a nice Weigu Kulian house belonging to your friends and friends. My surviving manual pays off. Wang Lobin is renowned for his talent in capturing Weigu Gu's beauty with his music and lyrics. Partially thanks to his music, Weigu Gu has almost become synonymous to beauty in most Han Chinese mind today. And it's really hard not to be charmed by this his eyes. <laughs> Wow. 
Uyghur is the largest ethnic group living in Yining city. Unlike Kazakh, they prefer city living and traditional known for their good sense of business and delicate urban lifestyle. But just like Kazakh, Uyghurs also known as people born with rhythm in the blood.